In this video walkthrough lesson, we're going to continue our fractions module, and this is lesson number 5-1-6a, subtracting fractions and mixed numbers with regrouping. We'll continue our word problem series, and this standard is featured in this video. We'll be using this worksheet, and you can go to worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You'll find it under our fractions video walkthrough lessons, and it's entitled Fractions module number 5-1-6a. We have some directions. Solve the following fractions word problem. Show your work using numbers, pictures, and words. Let's take a look at this problem. Dwayne had nine and one-fourth gallons of fuel in his tank when he drove to the skate park. After a long day of perfecting kick clips, ollies, and aerials, he drove home. Duane used one and three-fourths gallons of gas to get to the skate park and back. How much fuel was remaining in Duane's gas tank? So right off the bat, you're probably thinking, ah, I've seen my math job in there, and you probably have. And lately, we've seen these problems. And in the last sentence, in question form, you can see your math job. That's exactly what we have going on here. We have... How much fuel was remaining in Dwayne's gas tank? And now let's go back through and see if we can determine what our clues are. First sentence, Dwayne had nine and one-fourth gallons of fuel in his tank when he drove to the skate park. You're probably thinking, ah, there's some right there. Nine one-fourth gallons of fuel in his tank. That's right. So Dwayne had that much in his tank when he left for the skate park. Sentence two. After a long day of perfecting kickflips, ollies, and aerials, he drove home. Any math information? Nah, just story information. Next sentence. Duane used one and three-fourths gallons of gas to get to the skate park and back. You probably noticed this right here. One and three-fourths gallons. That's what he used, so Duane used that much to get to the skate park and back. And then... Back to our math job, we have to figure out how much fuel was remaining in Dwayne's gas tank. So now, we'll set up the mathematical model. We'll use numbers, pictures, and words in this problem. So we'll start with that. We have 9 and 1 fourth gallons of fuel in his tank. But he did drive to the skate park and back. And when he did that, he used one and three-fourths gallons of gas. And we have to subtract these. But how will we do this? Well, if you take a look, this problem is a little bit more complex than any um, adding and subtracting fractions with like denominators that we've seen so far. And if you look at one-fourth minus three-fourths, you really can't do that. And if you think back to earlier days, when, let's give an example. If we had, uh, for example, we had 21 and we wanted to take away 9. You'll notice that in the ones place here, in the ones place right there, you'll see that we need to regroup. If we have one, we simply can't take away nine ones. And the same type of thing is happening here. If we have one fourth, we cannot take away three fourths unless we regroup. So as we learned in the past, back to the 21 minus nine example, you look to the tens place and we're going to regroup. We'll take a group of tens from here, leaving one in the tens place, and we'll group it together with the one making 10, 1, 10, and 1, 1, or 11. So now you can subtract 11 minus 9. You're probably thinking, ah, 2. You'd be exactly correct. And now we've got 1 minus nothing in a tens place, leaving us with a grand total or a grand difference, I should say. A grand difference of 12. There it is. So we're going to do that a similar idea when we subtract fractions. And if you look to this 1 fourth over here, we have to do something to that. Well, what we're going to do is go to our neighbor here in the ones place, and we'll say, okay, we want to regroup 
take one hole away from there, one hole, leaving eight holes up there. And now we have to think we have to add one hole to one fourth. And if you think in terms of fourths, because our denominator is four, and how much how how many fourths would be in one hole? Well, that would be four fourths, wouldn't it? Four fourths. And we already had one fourth, and we've noticed that if we're adding and subtracting fractions and we have like denominators like we do here, we're dealing with fourths. We can simply add those up, leaving the denominator the same. We'll add the numerators. 4 plus 1 would be 5 fourths. And that's what we'll do. So we borrowed, and some people may say, or we, we regrouped. And we took 1 away, 1 whole. We add it to our 1 fourth, giving us 5 fourths now. So we've got 5 fourths minus 3 fourths, and we can do that. We can do that, can't we? So 5 fourths minus 3 fourths give a, gives us... 2 fourths, you're probably thinking, good for you. And now we can subtract the 1's, and we've got 8 minus 1 would be 7, and 7 and 2 fourths. And then we have something else interesting going on there. We can see that our fraction, 2 fourths, is equivalent to something we we're familiar with. Anytime the, anytime the numerator is half the denominator, you're going to have a fraction equivalent to 1 half. So, 7 and 2 fourths is equivalent to 7 and 1 half, isn't it? There we go, and we're dealing with gallons. We'll put that in a complete set sentence in a moment. But now we'll, we'll kind of take a look at why we can do this in picture form. So we're going to be dealing with 9 and 1 fourth minus 1 and 3 fourths using a pictorial method. So let's set that up. We still are dealing with 9 and one fourth. And we're going to subtract one and three fourths. Dwayne started with nine and one fourth gallons of fuel in his tank, and he used up one and three fourths gallons of fuel. And we'll need to subtract that. But now we're going to use our pictorial or visual fraction model, if you will. We'll start off, and we have we'll represent the nine whole gallons. There's one. Two, they can be simple drawings just to represent the whole numbers. We have one, two, three full gallons, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine whole gallons. And we also had one-fourth of another over here. So we had one-fourth, divide this gallon up into fourths, and we had one-fourth of a gallon. So nine and one-fourth gallons of fuel. And we had to subtract or take away one and three-fourths from that. And the problem came when we, we looked at those fractions. We couldn't take three-fourths away from one-fourth. So what we have to do in this case, if we're going to take that that hole there, and break it up. Let me just fix that up. We'll take that hole, which was the ninth gallon, and we'll break that up into fourths. So really, and we have the same amount, and we just broke one hole into fourths, and we had, and then four fourths would be that ninth gallon. So now we've got, if you look at these two together, we've got how many fourths? You can see them. We have one, two, three, four, five fourths there. That's exactly what we have. So if we have five fourths, we can certainly take away three fourths from that. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll take away one fourth, two fourths, and three fourths, leaving us with. Two fourths left there. So we have now we have to we we've, we've dealt with that three fourths over here. We've dealt with that. We've taken that away. But now we have to also subtract the one hole. So let's do that now. That should be fairly easy to do. Let's take a look at that eighth whole gallon there, and we'll get rid of that. 
So now we are left with seven and two fourths gallons of fuel. And you can see that two fourths, nine minus, well, actually it was eight minus one would have been seven. So seven and two fourths. And again, if you look at that two fourths here, you can see that really we have half a gallon there, don't we? We have half a gallon right in there, right in here. So you can clearly see that you still have half a gallon. So that would also be equal to or equivalent to seven and one half gallons of fuel. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll put that in a complete sentence. Make sure we finished, we answered our math job. How much fuel was remaining in Dwayne's gas tank? Now we know. Dwayne has seven and one half gallons of gas remaining in his tank. And there you have it. We've solved, we've solved our math job and we've on in the way of or on the way of in doing that we have also used numbers in the mathematical model, pictures in our visual fraction, and words. And now we have a complete, well-rounded answer. And look at that, a happy student. That was a quick look at subtracting fractions with regrouping. Thanks for checking out worksheets at walkthroughs.com, and we'll see you again next time.